So here we are up at Mount Hutt. What a nightmare. <laughs> this is one of the classic snowmakers that they have. There's many of them on the field across, across the whole area. So a couple of great features on this snowmaker here, the T40, which is one of dozens across the hill. And basically it runs on the fan at the back. There's a fan that's forcing the air and pushing it through. Which obviously all the, we have a whole lot of nozzles around the, around the outside of the snowmaker. And that basically is compressed water that is flicked out and as it comes through the fan, frozen up into the air high, with the surrounding temperature being below zero, in this case about minus three today, it's gonna freeze and turn into a crystal, which creates a snowflake, and as that falls to the ground, that's in basic terms and in fairly brief. If you look around the back, you'll see the fan. And if you look around the front, you'll see a whole lot of nozzles. There's a little bit more componentry going on inside there with the nozzles. You have what you call a nucleator, a nucleator nozzle, and you have a standard nozzle and the nucleator basically that does is that breaks it down and that's like the compressed air but that's a slightly different version to what you see here it's a great system it's got lots of technology in it you'll see it's fitted with lights and all sorts of gizmos so that they can see exactly where it is most of these snow machines you'll find are controlled in a central system and basically they can just turn them on automatically and they adjust themselves for the, temp the right temperature and the right humidity um, there's a couple other bits that come into it obviously the wet bulb temperature is the key temperature when, when making any snow and that's got to be below basically about minus three is usually around about the right temperature and that is a humidity versus actual real temperature and that's like a corresponding point which creates the wet bulb and that's the point in which a uh, snowflake will be able to be formed so you can get to plus three degrees and make snow if you've got humidity of like zero percent so super dry obviously the colder the air the lower the humidity the better quality snow you're going to get um, so obviously higher up the mountain, the better quality you're going to see here today. Classic polecat, it's a snow machine that's been around for a long time, decades now. Probably one of the more reliable ones, although technology in it now is getting pretty old. So just a quick rundown of what it is. These nozzles here, these are all your classic high pressure water nozzles. And that central one you can see is the nucleator nozzle. And basically that one, the central one is the compressed air water mix. Whereas these ones are just straight water. You go down to the bottom here, you've got your compressor. All right, which is all, all connected up and then obviously at the back it's also got a fan to give it elevation when it throws the snow out so that, that's a brief old school technology brilliant example of uh, what we had for snow making for the last 20 or 30 years here we are guys basic four quad chair lift the most arduous task of any lifter is clearing that snow around the bottom by shovel because there's no other way of doing it. it basically shoots you up to the top in about six, seven minutes. Okay, guys, this is what we call the magic carpet on the lunar slopes here at Mount Hutt. It's a whole series of containers that have been put in there just to protect it from snowfall and things like that overnight building up, making it hard to clear. So they put, put a whole lot of containers here. It works great. Brilliant system for learners and beginners. Right here, guys. Thanks for coming along with us today at Mount Hutt. Brilliant day, great ski field. It's open here, second day, absolutely fantastic. Lots of crowds, awesome to see. Just before we finish, this is the groomers. There's a whole heap of these on the mountain. The majority of the work's done along the back here, and that's basically what smooths it out, takes away the ice, or breaks the ice up, shall I say. So you get a nice clean slope, for anyone that doesn't know. At the front, you've got your um, big, basically like a bulldozer bar. That's just moving snow around, making trails and things like that. Just like to say a shout out to Fully Equipped for setting up Josh's truck. Absolutely fantastic job they've done. It looks great, brilliant for up here today. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and keep an eye out for more videos as we move forward.
What a nightmare. <laughs>